All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. I am excited to do this class. I have been um, putting these slides together just with all the information. There's a lot that can be so helpful, and I know that these, these areas are things that plague so many people, whether it's just sleep stress, belly discomfort. Of, I don't know if the belly discomfort is just because I hear about it so much at home because of what my husband does. Um, he's a pediatric gastroenterologist, so he deals with tummy trouble all day long. So I want to be able to share this information because I have seen how incredibly life-changing it is for people. And I'm really excited that you guys are here today and that you get to get this information and put it to use and really find answers to some of these problems. Because a lot of times we get um, help from the different doctors that we're seeing in different things, but a lot of it is just treating symptoms. And sometimes we don't even see a lot of changes as far as the outcome. Um, so people are struggling. And so it is just so fulfilling for me to be able to see these things that people grab onto and are able to actually make these changes, a lot of them very simple, um, and really see a huge difference in their health and just how they're feeling in their bodies. So um, we'll go ahead and go through this. But as we're going, please make sure you use that chat box because I may not get to your questions during. If I see them, I will go ahead and answer them as I can. But a lot of times I'm so involved in teaching that I'm not always looking at the chat. And if I um, by the end of this class, I will go back, I promise, and look at whatever questions people have had during the course. So go ahead and keep typing those in as you have questions. I would love to answer anything that you have. Um, and as I love this slide, you know, this sparkler, and I just consider this, think of this as your light. Um, it's a large world, uh, live a large life. And that's hard to do when our bodies are in pain. So that's kind of the goal today is to really give you these tools so that you can live that large life and let yourself shine and be able to, to work from a place of health. So this will be really, really fun. Who am I? I'm Danette McComber. I run a site, That's Life with Essential Oils. Um, that's the name of my team that I work with. All of the people that work with me, we all work together on helping as many people as we can. I'm an essential oils educator. I work uh, with doTERRA. I'm a leader and mentor with them, and I love training others to do what I do. So as we're going through this, if this interests you at all, if, um, if you decide that this is something that you'd like to do in your area, teach people in person or online or any of that stuff, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to kind of help you with that. Um, but just know that most people in doTERRA are just customers. Nine out of 10 are just customers, and that is awesome. We love our customers. So, um, But I do like to let people know that's available to them. So I am a mom of four, my favorite job in the whole world. I have um, kids aged from 21 down to 14. And you'll see below here kind of the different ways that you can find me on social media and online. So my belief where I work from is that there is a time and a place for modern medicine and I'm grateful for it, okay? So obviously my husband is a doctor. My background is in nursing, that's how I was trained. So we believe in medicine, we're glad it is there to help us, um, but we also know there's a ton of side effects and we've seen that and watched that with people and it's so nice to have something to turn to first that is natural, that doesn't have those side effects and so that's where we go first where, when we can. So it's worth exploring nature solutions before we take that synthetic approach. Um, we also believe that our body was designed to heal itself. We have amazing bodies that can do so much if we just give them what they need and they have the right tools. We believe that our behavior is an expression of our beliefs. So what we do is what we believe, okay? And I also know from talking to people that most people have no idea how great their bodies are designed to feel. So we believe that you deserve to feel vibrant, confident, strong, capable, and empowered. All those good things, okay? And my vision in doing this and in teaching these classes has been to really bridge that gap between the Western medical world and essential oils because what I didn't understand before I got started teaching and learning about essential oils years ago was the medical research behind it. So you can go on pubmed.gov, Google that and look up any essential oil. There's over 20,000 studies, medical studies, the same journals that all doctors turn to. So medical-based research. And there are hospitals, the biggest ones across the United States are using oils. So that is super exciting. So I want you to know, I am not a doctor, okay? I do have a background in nursing. My husband is a doctor. 
Um, but make sure that you always are going with your doctor. If you're, if you're on some kind of chronic medication or anything like that, work with your doctor. Um, my husband deals with that all the time. He has plenty of patients who use oils and, and, um, sometimes he wants them to, they can go ahead and keep using what they're using. And other times he wants to use the medications that he's doing without anything else in there with it. So just, you know, be open with your doctor. Um, and if you have an emergency, go to the emergency room. Don't turn to your oils like when you when you're you know needing something emergent. Do what you need to do. So just be smart. Um, I am a mom that tries to use more natural approach as prevention and also as a first approach for healing, and that is what we do in our family. Um, I also obviously value medicine and medical professionals, and that we can use both. Okay. All right, if you have not seen my Essential Oils 101 class, you may want to take, there's going to be a lot of information in this class where you can, um, hold on, I've got people trying to get in here. Um, okay, welcome Betty. Um, you're going to want to take screenshots as we're going through because there's going to be a lot of information that you may not be able to write down fast enough, but take a screenshot here because there's a link here in pink that will take you to my Essential Oils 101 class and you can really get a nice basic um, as an introduction to oils through that. Um, I wanna change something on my settings here, so give me just one moment. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. Okay, so next slide. All right, here's what you're gonna learn in this class, you guys. Why we, take, why we care about taking a natural approach, why that's gonna be important our favorite things to do for sleep, stress, and digestion. And then I'm gonna also introduce you some education and resources that you're gonna have available to you, okay? So also stay tuned because I have a special surprise for you at the end, something that you'll be interested in. Um, so first of all, why do we care about taking a natural approach? Why is that important? So first of all, there's three reasons, okay? Essential oils are safer. And let's talk about some of the reasons why that is. There's basically, we have our modern approach and we have a natural approach, right? And in that modern approach, we're managing symptoms. And in the natural approach, we're getting down to the base cause, okay? Um, on our modern side, we have synthetic stuff. On our natural side, we're using something more natural. So the body recognizes it and it's able to really have um, the effect that we're looking for without those side effects. And that's a big part with modern medicine. We do have a lot of side effects. Think about the commercials that you see and the long list of things that come at the end of that commercial, including death a lot of times as an option. So it's kind of scary. Um, there's just a lot of things. And with oils, you really don't have that. So it's, it's a much safer option there. Uh, 6.5 trillion a year spent on global healthcare. We spend more in the United States than, I think we're 39th as far as our health our health in the world, like we're one of the most unhealthy nations. But yet we spend more on our health care than anyone else in the world. And so there's a problem there. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Now, what are essential oils? You'll see in this picture, you're going to see a peppermint plant right next to it. It's just been magnified really, really highly. And those little yellow um, circles are the sacs, the peppermint oil sacs, your essential oils, okay? Um, they are basically the immune system of the plant, and in that, they also help us in that same way that they help plants. They can help us. So underneath, you'll see pictures of some of the different places that we get oils. So we can get it from seeds, we can get it from the flowers, we can get it from the rind. Our citrus oils, a lot of times, are from the rind. Um, you can get it from the bark, you can see cinnamon there, and leaves, so even roots. So there's different places that we get essential oils. So why doTERRA? Why, did, why was that what I chose when I decided, decided to use um, oils with my family? So there's a few different things, and I studied this heavily before I decided um, which direction I wanted to go. So one of the biggest things is the sourcing. So essential oils, the ones that doTERRA does, like they're from 80 different countries from all over the world. Half of them are actually third world countries because that's where those plants grew naturally, almost like weeds, right? And they've been farmed there for hundreds of years. So they have the correct soil for that plant. They have the right light. Um, they have just all of the different things that plant needs to really thrive. And if you take lavender that you grew in your backyard and you compare that to lavender grown in France or Bulgaria where doTERRA gets theirs and you took that into a lab and you compared the results of the constituents of that plant, it would be very different. 
And so that is why hospitals are using um, doTERRA oils because they get a consistent result every time. And that was important to me. Why would I pay for something that wasn't going to work? Um, so the other thing that I loved about getting it from these other countries is that impact that you see there. So like I said, these are third world countries in a lot of instances, okay? So doTERRA goes into those places in the world and they actually ask these villages what they need, whether at schools or wells or, you know, whatever it may be. And they leave those villages better than they found them by a long shot. They pay them a fair wage. They increase their standard of living. So I love that they do that. And the other thing that I love is the testing, okay? I want to make sure that what I am using with my family is completely safe. And this guarantees that CPTG, all that is, that label that doTERRA uses, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grave, that's just their promise. This is a label that they decided on because they wanted it to mean, you know, all these different things. They wanted it to be their promise of what this oil was. And so it's third party tested. Everything is third party tested. It goes into a third party lab. If it doesn't match exactly what it's supposed to look like, say that harvest that year um, didn't have, you know, there was a drought or something. If it didn't match those constituents in the lab like we were talking about, they would throw that batch out. They wouldn't use it. So third party testing tests for that. It tests for any kind of contaminants. So you're not gonna have anything in there except the plant. Keep in mind that oils are completely, um, they're very, very concentrated. So doTERRA's are. Um, I know that other people have come over who were buying their oils at the health food store that I, that I work with. You know, I had a lady that put 30 drops of oil into her diffuser. Not needed with doTERRA. Uh, you can use three um, because it's so concentrated. It doesn't have any, any uh, fillers or anything like that. And it. it's just the plant material. Okay, so um, that's important to know that that's what's being tested too. So it's tested in a lot of different ways. All right, let's talk about grading. So when we talk about different types of essential oil, you might, um, most of them are going to be synthetic, right? That's that gray part on there. So that's going to be what, when you see lavender and shampoo or, you know, peppermint in your toothpaste, it's going to be, um, actually the toothpaste is going to be food grade because um, it's been approved by the FDA to be internally used. So, but the synthetics is going to be like your perfumes, your lotions, all those different things. And then you get into your food grade stuff, right? So that would be like your flavorings that you use in your cooking. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been approved, but it doesn't have all those other things that we're talking about as far as where it's grown and the best circumstances. It doesn't match those profiles. It's not going to give you a a health effect, right? And then you have therapeutic that has that health that's health health effect that benefit, but then you have the CPTG, so which is all those things that we just discussed. So even that highest standard, okay? So a little more on CPTG. Um, we've talked about most of this, but it's the purity, the potency, the quality, no contaminants, no pesticides, and all of that testing. And then a few points of safety. Oils are very, very safe, but it is important to have a few different things to know about. If you want to screenshot this, there's a lot of information here. Um, you're going to see how oils can be used. Um, I'm going to give you some resources at the end, but they'll be labeled aromatic, topical, or internal. Those are the three ways that we use oils. So aromatic would be like the diffuser, like you see running behind me, um, or putting an oil in your hands, cupping it over your nose and mouth and smelling it, right? Topical, putting it directly on the area that you need help. Maybe you have a rash on your hand or a bug bite or something. You can put it directly on there. Um, internal, I would not use any other oils besides doTERRA oils um, internally, okay? The, that third-party testing, the purity, all of that is going to play into it. Remember how um, concentrated I said they were? Like, for example, in peppermint, it's um, one drop of oil would be like 28 cups of peppermint tea, okay? So super, super potent. All right, the next thing that you need to know, let me make sure there's nobody else still trying to get in here. Um, the next thing that you need to know is that you want to dilute oils, especially if you're new to oils and your body's not used to them. It's never a bad idea to dilute. You're not going to dilute the effect. You're just um, basically diluting it so that it's, um, especially if you have sensitive skin, it's just going to keep you from getting any kind of a rash or any kind of a reaction on your skin. I do use most oils, um, with the exception of the hot oils, and I'll explain that in a second, um, directly on my skin. I'll do that a lot of times. But other times, I dilute because it helps it, especially if it's something topical on my skin, it helps it to stay there longer versus kind of flashing into the air. Um, so there's never, it's never bad to dilute, okay? Um, certain oils are hot oils, considered like ones that will react more on our skin. So things like 
oregano, I've got them listed there in the yellow circle, okay? So oregano, thyme, cinnamon, cassia, clove, sometimes lemongrass needs a carrier, so it's just good to have something like fractionated coconut oil, which you see on your screen, that bottle. It's different than the coconut oil in your kitchen. It doesn't um, get solid under 76 degrees. It'll stay liquid. It's very inexpensive. Um, let's see, what else? Store your oils in a dark place. Keep them away from heat. They'll last pretty much forever that way. Citrus oils should be used within about three years, but everything else, if you take care of it, you're going to have your oils for even a lifetime. Um, photosensitive oils. Any of your citrus oils are going to be photosensitive, meaning if you're going to go out in the sun, don't put it on a spot that's going to be in the sun because you could burn. So um, maybe you're putting it somewhere that's under your clothing. That would be fine. Um, I love to use lemon with my moisturizer at night on my skin a lot of times, and so I do that at night. I wouldn't do that in the morning because then I'm going out in the sun and I don't want to get a burn on my face. Um, okay, next slide. This, you can take a screenshot up. This is just showing you different dilution rates for ages, okay? So if, one of my favorite ways to use oils is in a roller bottle. I make up a specific blend for a specific thing. I've got a lot of different ways I like to use them. Um, I love to share those with my team. There's a lot of different things you can do. But it's nice to know the dilution rate. You can use oils with infants. You can use them with any age group. You just have to know how to dilute, and this will help you to know that. Um, as far as other things to know as far as age, the other one was for topical use with the dilutions. This will tell you also with internal use, kind of a good range for different ages. Um, so number two, oils are cheaper. So there's a little graphic here for you showing a few different things. So on the left, you see bottles of Melaleuca. These are kind of the three different bottles you'll find with doTERRA. So the five milliliter bottles have about 85 drops in them. The 15 milliliter bottles have about 250 drops in them. And then our roller bottles have about 150 drops and then they've been diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So they're kind of grab and go. You can just use them straight on your child, throw them in your purse and have them already diluted and ready to go. So that's great. So the price per drop is actually listed for you for a few different things there. Um, these are the top 10 oils that people usually start with. So that's why those are listed there. There's many more oils, but that's what those top 10 are there. So obviously frankincense, it's one of the more precious oils. That's the most expensive one that you see there per drop. But one thing you need to know is that you're never using more than a drop or two at a time. So these bottles are going to last you a really long time. Like a bottle of oregano will probably last you your whole life. Um, that's, you know, they're just, they're going to last a long time. Now lemon, I use in my water every day and that's, but that's the cheapest oil, right? It's 10 bucks for a 15 milliliter bottle with 250 drops. I'll go through one of those every couple of months because I use it for cleaning and my water and all sorts of things. But they are very, very inexpensive. So one thing to understand, like a doctor's visit is between, even with a copay, right, is about $15 to $75. And your prescription is anywhere from $15 to $50. So that cost of the doctor's visit is going to be anywhere from $30 to $125, right? So let's compare that to using an oil. So Melaleuca, that's a very average priced oil, and it's about $0.08 cents a drop. So let's say you had some ear discomfort. Your child's complaining of that, that your ear's hurting, okay? And so that's a very simple thing to address at home with a bottle of Melaleuca. So the rate of use for that would be about two drops three times a day. You would just kind of swab that around their ear. You never want to drop oils directly in the ear, okay? Um, and then the total cost of that comes out to about 48 cents a day. Super cheap, okay? Back to that other slide, 30 to $125, 48 cents a day, okay? So one other thing I like to use, this is a blend I use for my allergies, right? This hay fever symptoms that I dealt with before year round all day long. Um, I like this blend of six oils. A lot of people love just lemon, lavender, and peppermint. This is the one that works for me. So I put out the price per drop here for you. And when you kind of figure out the math here, when I make a roller bottle with this, I'm using about 15 drops of each, and that roller bottle lasts me about two months. So the total for that roller bottle with the price per drop is about $9.60. So that comes out over 60 days to 16 cents a day, which is even cheaper than my prescription cost me before for Flonase. So, you know, really, really great. So third thing, essential oils are more effective, and you're going to see that with all the different sleep, stress, and the kind of digestive stuff we're going to talk about today. So I, we kind of talked about this already, but they are a global network, okay? doTERRA uses growers all over the world. Um, and because of that, they're growing, they're getting their oils where they grow the best. So the product is at its best and it's going to have the effect we want, right? Um, and it's natural. Our bodies recognize it. It knows what to do with it. So it's more effective. 
And so we talked about how concentrated oils are, very, very concentrated. They work on a cellular level. So what's great is that oils can actually, um, you know, our cells are lipophilic. It just means they have a fatty layer around them. So a lot of times with other medications, you know, like if you go to the doctor and you have a virus, they tell you that um, antibiotics, antibiotics won't work on that. It's because of the way the cell is made up. So with a lot of the oils, they actually can pass through the cell membrane, which is why they're being, you know, heavily, heavily studied in medicine because they can do things that a lot of medications can't, which is so, so exciting. So I love that. Now, I just have a few different things here that I wanted to just, um, as far as effectiveness, these are some of my favorite experiences with some of my oils. Um, I just wanted to give you a really quick uh, example. So On Guard, one of my favorite oils. Um, as far as how quick it works, if I get a sore throat, I can put one drop in my mouth three times a day. Next day, no sore throat. That's worked over and over again for me and you know lots of, of people that I know. So um, really amazing. Uh, the breathe that we see there. So for respiratory support is how we use that. That's relief almost instantly, okay? So one drop in my hand, over my nose and mouth, breathe that, it calms my cough when I get a cough immediately. You know, if I were to take a cough medicine, it would take 45 minutes to kick in, and most of the time it didn't really even work for me. So blessing in my life there. Um, on the bottom, you see the balance and the serenity. These are two of my favorite oils for calming. Um, you can notice a big difference within a few minutes. We're going to talk about why that is when we get to stress. Um, but I love it. So, you know, maybe I'm talking in front of a really big group of people. And as much as I love to talk to people, a huge big group can sometimes be scary. So I love just to put a drop of each of these oils in my hands, take a few seconds to just breathe it in, and it helps so, 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 so much. So um, hold on one second. I want to make sure people can get in easily. All right, there we go. Okay. So at the top, you see digestin, and that is meant for tummy trouble, any kind of tummy trouble, and you'll usually get relief within just minutes, okay? So I like to share a story that just happened recently. We've had lots of experiences with digestin, but um, number one, I was on a trip. We were over in Greece with my oldest daughter, and we were on a bus, windy, windy bus, and people on this bus had seen me pull out, pull out my oils. I never go anywhere without them because they help with so many things, right? So they knew I had them. Um, so she came back and she asked you if anything, I'm just so nauseous right now, I, um, this windy road is killing me. And so I gave her a drop of digestin in her mouth, just one drop, she swallowed it with a glass of water, and she came back in five minutes and was like, it's gone. That was so awesome. So I love that. It's got a lot of, it's a blend, has a lot of different things in it for, for any kind of digestive trouble. Another example, my son Colton, he's 17, he was getting ready for school in the morning and I found him just laying on the kitchen floor, hands on his belly, just saying, mom, my stomach hurts so bad. And, you know, we addressed any kind of bathroom issues. It's not said that wasn't a problem. Um, so we, we couldn't, we didn't know what it was. So I asked him if he wanted some digest sun and he said yes. He's experienced it before, knew, knew how amazing it was. So I gave him one drop in his mouth and then I had him rub one drop on his belly. And within 15 minutes, he came and said, Mom, I'm totally fine. We were able to take him to school. So that was awesome. And then at the bottom, we have sleep trouble. So cedarwood, lavender, two oils, great for that. We're going to address some more for you today too. But... Um, those are just two really easy oils when you use them together to just make yourself calm down, make your brain kind of stop going crazy and thinking about so many things and be able to just relax and get to sleep. I never travel without my diffuser. I take it everywhere. So I have a really compact one called the Aroma Light Diffuser. It's the smallest one um, and it'll run all night so I can use it with sleep stuff. Um, so I love that one. Deep Blue Rub. This is one that I have trouble locating in my house quite a bit because my family loves to steal it. It's, they're all athletes, and um, this is the most effective thing we have found for pain, okay? It's muscle soreness, um, nerve pain, um, anything like that. Uh, a lot of people love to use it for growing pains with their kids or just anything pain, this is your go-to, okay? So really great. And then another one is peppermint. That's probably the most used oil ever. Um, one drop in your mouth if you're having any kind of tummy trouble along with that digestion. There is peppermint in the digestion. It works great. It's also wonderful for cooling down instantly. So if you're at a baseball game, you can put a little bit of that in a little four ounce spray bottle with some water and spray that wherever you, you know, spray your kids back of their neck and it's just instant cool down. And think about if they are hot for other reasons, their immune system is fighting something, you can use this versus like ibuprofen or Tylenol, which by the way, my husband will not take. 
Um, he, again, is a GI doc, so deals with all the intestinal system in kids, and he sees their livers and their kidneys shutting down and even needing transplants because of how much, much ibuprofen and Tylenol they've had. So this is just a really great way to stay away from that kind of thing. Okay. Oops. Okay. So we kind of talked about that a little bit, this uh, aromatic topical internal. So you can see a few examples there with aromatic. There's a few diffusers pictured there. Helps to kill germs in the air, opens the airways, and it's one of the most effective ways to affect our mood. So when we talk about stress, depression, any of those things, it's going to be really helpful there. Topical, you can apply it um, to your head. I like the back of the neck when you're dealing with something emotional or you know with stress and things, or you can put it on your chest, or I'll even rub a little just around my nose, just anywhere I can smell it. And we're gonna talk about why that's important as far as the brain. Um, and then back of the neck, we talked about um, troubled areas, anything topical. So if you have a rash or a bug bite or things, you just use it on the area of concern. And then the dilution rate for that would be for kids, as a rule of thumb, one drop to one teaspoon um, if they're an older child. And then if they're a little child, it would be like one drop to a tablespoon as far as the dilution rate there. And then internal use, this is specific to doTERRA oils, okay? So you can take it under your tongue, you can take it in a gel capsule, or you can put it in water. Um, it's going to help with things in the digestive system, the mouth, the throat, the liver, all of these different things. And we're going to talk about that with the digestive system too. All right, so I love this pyramid. It's going to help us kind of talk about some of the different ways that we can address things with, um, with all sorts of different ways. We're not just going to talk about oils today. Um, there's a few products and then some other things. So I want you to think about some of the concerns that you have as far as your family's health care. And this pyramid, you know, obviously the base is eating right. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Um, that's really important to address. So um, let's move forward, but just keep this in mind because as we get into rest and manage stress and toxic load, your oils are really going to be key in those areas. So um, I'm not going to read through this, but you can take a screenshot if you like. It's just a post that I did to Instagram a while back, but it's just talking about consistency and everything that we're talking about today. Um, you can't just do th something once and expect that it's going to, um, I mean, sometimes we have an effect, you know, the bit. when we're dealing about things that we've dealt with, like more chronic things, you need to give it some time and you need to be consistent, okay? So when we're taking care of our bodies, we wanted to, to kind of try and make that a habit, not just a... We only do something when we're sick, okay? We want to just really take care of our bodies, so be consistent. And I love what this says at the bottom because it's amazing to me. So 74% of people who begin using doTERRA oils in the products will continue to purchase on a monthly basis. They actually have the highest percentage of product repurchases in the whole industry. And remember how I said at the beginning, only nine out of, nine out of 10 people are just customers. They're not doing this as a business. So the only reason they would be repurchasing is that the products work. Okay? And the industry standard is somewhere around like 12%. So 74% is actually incredible, and that should tell you something. Okay, so next, what are our favorite natural solution products for the sleep, stress, and digestion? We're to the nitty-gritty, okay? So this is what I was talking about before with emotions and affecting the brain and why I like to put oils where I can smell them. This is why. So when we take in um, a scent through the nasal cavity, just like it shows here, it goes back to the olfactory bulb in the back of the nasal cavity, which is next to the limbic system of the brain, which controls so many different things in our body, okay? So it controls all of these things that are listed here, our memory, emotions, hormones, blood pressure, heart rate, um, endorphins, neurotransmitters, all of these different things. So um, this is why science is heavily studying the effect of oils on emotions and all of these limbic system things because it is one of the most effective ways through this, our sense of smell to affect our brain. So... I thought this all sounded so woo-woo when I first heard about oils. Um, I was, I don't know, you guys tell me, put it in the chat box. I mean, I don't know how many, let me know if you guys have used oils before, if you're brand new to oils. Um, I would love to know that, so stick that in the chat box. But if you're like me and how I was at the beginning, I didn't know why the science behind this was. Once I learned it, I was like, okay, I get it. I'm willing to listen. Um, so very, very interesting. So again, how we get oils into our brain through the olfactory system and diffusing is a very, very good way to do that. So whether that's putting a drop in your hand and just being a natural diffuser or using a diffuser in your home. So we have one of these in every room of our house. And like I said, I travel with one. I like that Aroma Light one for travel. But um, my favorite overall is probably that Lumo diffuser. It's, it's great. Um, it'll go 10 hours. My Aroma Light goes eight. Um, 
So anyway, there's some different things there you can screenshot if you want. Um, okay, so let's get into sleep a little bit. And I've got a graphic here kind of talking about some of our favorite oils that people love for sleep. So, and you'll see a recipe here for some bath salts. Um, but at the top, you'll see we've got lavender and serenity. You can do one or the other. Um, serenity has lavender in it, one of the reasons I love that. Um, plus a bunch of other really great oils and some vanilla. It smells amazing. So you can put that on your pillow, um, put in a cotton ball in your pillow, or use it in your diffuser. Um, you can do one to three drops of wild orange and vetiver and massage that into your feet or on your spine. Um, for breathing, that affects our sleep, okay? So if you're not breathing very well, you're going to wake up a lot, okay? So think about sleep apnea. When people don't breathe well, they have moments of interrupted sleep and they just wake up tired, right? So when we breathe better, we can sleep better. So breathe, the blend breathe is um, full of all kinds of things that are going to help with, with our respiratory system. So you can gargle one to two drops of On Guard, which is our immunity blend, um, before bed and then diffuse breathe. And that breathe vapor stick you see on the left is just breathe oil, but it's in the form it's been in a, um, think about your Vicks Vapor Rub, only healthy. <laughs> works way better. So you can kind of put that on. It's great for kids because you don't have to dilute it um, or it's like, a, you know, less of a step. You can just rub that straight on their chest. You can rub it on their back. That's over their lungs too, right? Um, you can also put it on the bottoms of their feet. So um, there's a lot of nerve endings in our feet um, and, you know, your oils are still going to get absorbed that way too. So Especially if they don't like the smell of something, the feet is a really good spot. Or if they are young or they have really sensitive skin or even really old and have really sensitive skin, the feet are not sensitive that way and they're not going to have any kind of topical reactions to anything that way. So feet is a great way to go. Or if you're going to work and you don't want to smell like, you know, maybe you're using oregano like my mom was one day and she's like, I smell like a pizza. <laughs> and um, so I told her, put it on your feet, put your socks on. Nobody else is going to smell it, but you're still going to get those benefits in your bloodstream, okay? Um, at the bottom there of that, that graphic, you can see for, they have a, um, kind of a blend that you can put together. So it says combine 15 drops of lavender, 10 drops of vetiver, and five drops of frankincense, ylang ylang, and wild orange. And you can diffuse that, you can drop it under the tongue, or you can massage it into the neck or feet. Um, and again, it has a picture of serenity and balance at the bottom there, because those are both just very calming oils, okay? I have a link here, so if you screenshot this in blue, you'll see that bit.ly link, the essential diffusing. This is a document that I created, a Google Doc for you, that's gonna have a lot of information there that you'll absolutely love. There's some videos in there, all kinds of different things, all kinds of blends that you can do. So that'll be something great for you to use. Now, this is my favorite sleep recipe. This is the one that I share at every class I do. Um, I teach online classes, but I teach even more in person. And I love being with women. I love um, being able to help them face to face. I love that you guys are here, but I hate that I can't see you. <laughs> so being in person is, is really fun for me. So this is the blend, okay? Everybody who's tried it that I've ever talked to loves this blend. Serenity, vetiver, lavender, and cedarwood. So two ways to use it. So you can make a roller bottle, and I would do both if you're struggling with sleep, okay? You're going to make a roller bottle, easy to find. Um, you can buy them on doTERRA for six of them for like $4.50. Um, you're going to make up a roller bottle. You're going to put 20 drops of each of these oils in there, and then you're going to take your fractionated coconut oil. You can buy that for 12 bucks. It'll probably last you a year. Um, and you fill the rest of the bottle with that fractionated coconut oil. And then you just roll that um, on the back of the neck, just right before you're climbing into bed, okay? Back of your neck a little bit on your chest, um, insides of your wrists, and then bottoms of your feet. And then the other thing you're gonna do is put one drop of each of those in your diffuser. Yep, four drops total, all it takes. Now, if you want some extra support, the Serenity Restful Complex, these are some um, soft gels that you can take. These are okay for internal use, okay? Um, so you take one to two, about 30 minutes before bed. And the medical research that has been done on these is amazing. So they did double blind studies. And what they found was that these sleep gels helped people to fall asleep faster. They helped them to stay asleep. And if they happened to wake up, it helped them to go back to sleep faster. And when they woke up in the morning, they didn't have all that grogginess that you get with an over-the-counter or a prescription medication for sleep. Now, um, I've run into women who've been on uh, prescription sleep medication for 15 years, and one of the side effects 
is memory loss. And I had people who were experiencing that and it was very, very scary. Um, so we put, we put them on, on this regimen of doing this and day one, they were able to sleep and, you know, we have been able to get off of those medications, which is great. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. One thing we'll also find is that sleep and stress go hand in hand. When we're stressed, we don't really sleep very well, right? So all of these things that we're talking about with stress and sleep, you're gonna find a lot of the same oils, okay? So um, here, we are talking about mood support. So I love what it says here. 80% of all disease is actually related to stress. You use essential oils and something called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. It's a vitamin pack with three parts. I'll talk about it more when we get into the digestion section so you can learn more about that. Um, but when you do this, it helps to reduce stress. It supports a restful sleep. It helps you to manage mood and get rid of all that emotional baggage that you've been carrying around. So you can see here different oils that kind of help with different things that you're feeling. So if you're more on the fatigued and anxious side, you would use the serenity and it tells you how to do that. If you're um, anxious and stressed, you can go for the balance. If you're fatigued and um, not having really passion for life, you can go to the citrus bliss. It's going to be very uplifting, as will the elevation. So um, everybody's a little bit different. Our bodies are all different. Think about medications, and a lot of times you have to go back to the doctor for a different medication because there's one that's not working. Oils are the same kind of a deal. So if you run into an oil that's not doing what you want it to do, just know there's probably 10 others that can have that effect, and you just need to find the one that works with your body, okay? Now, this, I love this slide. So this little wheel actually comes with the Emotional Aromatherapy uh, therapy Kit. You can buy all these oils separately, but I love getting them in the kit because it's like getting one of them for free. Um, it's also one of the enrollment kits, which means that it waives your um, whole selfie for the year. So normally, I'll backtrack a little bit. When people get their oils, the best way to do that's wholesale if you're ever going to buy more than one oil. Um, so normally, either people start with a kit. There's all kinds of different kits. And that waves the, it's like Costco, there's a $35 fee for the year, and then you purchase whatever you want at 25% off or more all year long. So when you do a kit though, you don't pay that 35. So this is one of those kits, okay? So write this down. Um, so that's the emotional therapy kit, and it comes with a diffuser. And I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in on this more too as we go. But anyway, so you got these six oils, and it tells you, it comes with a little wheel in the kit, just like this one. And you just look at the emotion that you're having. So if you're feeling gloomy over there with where it says um, kind of the top right corner. So you would use a citrus, you know, that's kind of more the citrus oils that are going to uplift. So either motivate or cheer are going to be great. Um, so that's kind of how you use that. I also tell people, smell them. Decide, you know, what, what are you drawn to? Start with that. That's fine too. It's not something where you have to go that direction. Use what you love. Um, and you know, try some things out. You'll find which, what works best for you. So here's, here's kind of the kits that I love that have to do with emotional aromatherapy, so with the stress, okay? And you can use these with sleep too because they're gonna help. Anything that helps you de-stress is gonna help you sleep better too. So on the left, you see the, the one I was just talking about that actually waives that wholesale fee. So it's $195, that's the wholesale price. And then that also um, waives the $35 fee for the year. So you have wholesale pricing for a whole year when you buy this kit. You can buy this kit and nothing else for the rest of the year, or you can you know, buy other oils through the year. There's no minimums, maximums, anything like that. So um, it's just a really great way to be able to get your oils for cheap. Um, it does include one of my favorite diffusers. That's that 10-hour Lumo diffuser. And um, with these oils, these are the concentrated ones, okay? So they are, you can use them in the diffuser or you can even make up your own roller bottles with fractionated coconut oil if you want to throw it in your purse and be able to just roll it on when you need it. Now the kit on the right is not an enrollment kit. It doesn't have the $35 for the year included with it. Um, so you would need to pay the $35 one-time fee for the year and then you can purchase it wholesale all year long. But then the kit price is $100, okay? So the total for doing this would be $135, including your whole selfie. Um, and then with these, though, these are for topical use. They've been diluted with the fractionated coconut oil, which is a great grab-and-go option. People love this, especially when they have kids. Um, but even if they're just going to work and want to be able to throw something in their purse, this is really, really great. But you can't diffuse it. You can't pop the top off. I mean, you can take the tops off, but you wouldn't <laughs> to put it in the diffuser. That You don't want to add fractionated coconut oil to your diffuser, okay? Um, so anyway, those are those kits. This is another blend that people rave over. This is one that you can do yourself, either one drop of each in the diffuser 
or you can make a roller bottle with 20 drops of each of these and then fractionate a coconut oil. So it's serenity, balance, and wild orange. Now, if you're somebody who really has an, um, kind of more of a chronic issue with anxious feelings or um, even just feeling really bad all the time, um, you would add the helichrysum here, okay? That one's a little bit of a pricier oil, but again, going back to how um, uh, cost-effective the oils are, you're only using a little bit at a time. So um, if you were making roller bottles out of this, you would get um, four roller bottles out of that helichrysum. And so, and you know, two months, so you've got like an eight month supply, I guess is what I'm saying, out of that bottle, if you're using it every day, multiple times a day. Um, Oh, Lucille is saying it won't let me get a screenshot. So that, Lucille, that's not something with me. That would be something on your computer. So maybe do a quick Google search as you're watching and see um, what it tells you to do as far as getting a screenshot. I have a Mac, so it would be uh, command, control, and the number four for me, I believe. I hope that's right. Anyway, I would Google that. Um, Okay, so next, as far as the emotional side, if it is that time of the month, or if you're somebody who's maybe going through menopause and struggling with some hormonal issues there, being hot or just, you know, irritable, this is going to be your best friend, okay? Any woman, don't try and share this in your house with your daughter because they will, it'll be hard. I had this issue. My daughter had it and I couldn't find it and I needed it. So now we have our own bottle. So this will rock your world. I love this blend. It's a roller bottle called Clary Calm. So it's a blend, it's awesome, it's gonna help to just even out all those issues. So next, let's get into the belly pain aspect. So um, as I was setting up this class, I had many people calling me, uh, not calling me, emailing me, and asking when I was gonna do it again because they couldn't make, make it. So this is obviously a huge issue for people and I'm glad to be able to offer that support. So I'll try and do this again um, soon. But. Anyway, we're going back to that pyramid there. So right, this first slide here on the belly pain, we're gonna address the eating right, okay? That is gonna be the base, the most important thing. A lot of times, most times, when we can address what we're eating and our diet, it is going to help our body to heal itself, right? We give our body the nutrients it needs and it can fix all of these problems. So um, important, I know this may seem like a lot, but I do this and I promise you it can be done. So I shoot for at least 10 servings of veggies a day. Now I probably get six of those with breakfast just by grabbing handfuls of cherry tomatoes, baby carrots, maybe half an English cucumber, a red bell pepper or a colored bell pepper are my favorites, some of my favorites, and then I make a green smoothie on top of that. So you can do that. And then you just kind of snack through the day, have those baby carrots sitting on the counter for your kids when they get home. I promise they'll eat them if they're just out. Cherry tomatoes, we leave those on our counter. Um, they're just handy and ready to, to be able to be eaten. The next thing as far as, and it falls in the eat right category, is water consumption. We all should be taking whatever our weight is in pounds, divide that in half, and drink that in ounces every single day. So if you are a 120 pound person, you're going to need to be drinking 60 ounces of water every day, okay? Um, and I would say that soda does not count as water, okay? Um, soda is actually going to do a lot of really bad things to our body. So the sooner you can cut the soda habit, the caffeine habit, you're going to find a lot of things much, much better with your body. Um, I know I'm not going to be popular when I say that, but I'm just going to tell you like it is, okay? Now, next is exercise. Just do something to move your body every day. This is going to help keep our digestive system moving. It's going to help keep our bowels moving. You're going to be more regular if you can exercise. It doesn't have to be something crazy. Get out and walk for 20 minutes every day. Find a sport that you like to do. Do that on a regular basis. Um, for me, I just get on the treadmill. It's something super simple. It's super hot here in Phoenix. I can control my environment. My husband would hate that. He goes out and plays soccer and goes mountain biking. So find what you like. Um, next, the rest and manage stress. Now this is something that we can do with oils. This is where oils come in very, very handy. So um, just the ways that we've talked about already for sleep and stress, you can use any of those to help in this area. And stress does play a part in our digestive system. So if we're having belly pain, you know, think about when your kids complain of their stomach when on a test day, right? Stress goes to our digestive system. We see it manifest there. So we need to address those things if we've got belly pain, okay? Um, all right. So the next part is going to address both eating right and toxic load, okay? And my favorite way to do that is by um, 
some really great supplements, okay? And doTERRA, you can get these separately or you can get them in a package. My favorite is the package, this cleanse and restore kit because it ends up being cheaper. Um, but I'm gonna explain kind of what's in there. The, um, I'll kind of go through this for just a second, but it says all disease is related to deficiency and toxicity. Very, very true, and here's why. So our digestive system makes up 60 to 85% of our immune system. So if our gut is not working right, we get sick more often. We, we have all kinds of problems with all other parts of our body if we're not taking care of our gut. So this is really, really key. Even with the stress and the sleep, this is gonna make a difference, okay? Breakdown of the gut leads to toxicity and pain, inflammation in the body. Um, by the way, all pain in our body is caused by inflammation. Um, so all these different things that are effective. And I love this last part, it's kind of very telling. So there's more neurotransmitters which are the communication channel between the brain and the body in the digestive system than you even have in the brain. So our digestive system is super important. On the right, if you want to screenshot that, um, and you'll get this when you get that cleanse and restore kit, it will tell you exactly how to use it. But this is just a brief overview of how to use each of the products that are in it. The one thing that's not listed there is the Lifelong Vitality Pack, the vitamin pack. But we're going to talk about that in just a second on the next slide. But it is in this pack, okay, that cleanse and restore kit. Okay, Lifelong Vitality Pack has three parts, three bottles in it that come in that, um, and they're all listed here. Now, um, this is actually the number one selling product in doTERRA. I knew they sold oils when I got started. I had no idea that they had all of these other products that I could replace in my home to get rid of toxic things in my house. Um, but their number one selling product is this, okay? And that's because they rarely have a return. They offer, it's the only one they offer, a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you get a one-month supply, in this box um, and if you, you don't have more energy, less pain, more focus, better emotional health, better quality of life overall, if you don't notice a difference, you let them know they give you your money back, okay? So it's, there's just, it's a no-lose situation. Try it, see how it goes. Um, but one thing you get in there, the first thing I'm gonna address is actually the bottom one, the Microplex VMZ. So this is your multivitamin, okay? And what I love about this is it's geared towards the country that it's going to. So doTERRA is a worldwide company. They are the largest essential oil company in the world, okay? The next biggest company has maybe 3 million people that use their oils, and doTERRA is approaching 9 million, okay? Um, so when they do this product, they actually gear it towards the country it's going to. So uh, this being sent, this in the United States, or if you're in Canada, you're going to get something that is kind of geared towards the diet that is common there. Now, if it's going to Japan, it's going to eat a lot more fish there. It's going to be geared towards that. So you're getting what you need, but not more than you need. What's the matter with a lot of multivitamins is they go way overboard on the percentages, and so that taxes your liver and your kidneys and overworks them, and you can end up, you know, having huge problems because of that. The other thing that it addresses is these are whole food supplements, okay? So you're getting whole food, real food, okay? So your body recognizes it. It's available, it's bioavailable to your body. And so because of that, you'll notice, and I'm very point blank when I speak, um, but so hopefully this isn't TMI, but I don't know if you've noticed with other multivitamins, when you pee, your urine is bright, yellow, okay? It's fluorescent because you're peeing out most of what you're taking in. You will not see that with this product because your body is using it, okay? Now, the next thing in there is your XC Omega. Those are going to be your omega oils, and they're properly sourced. And then you have your Alpha CRS Plus, which is your antioxidants, anti-inflammatory. When you think inflammatory, think pain. So anti-inflammatory, taking care of the inflammation in your body is going to help to get rid of that pain. And then energy, cellular energy. And the way it does that, there's nothing caffeine or anything like that in there. It supports the mitochondria of your cell. If you remember back to high school biology, that's the powerhouse of our cell, okay? That's where the energy help is coming from. Super great product. So hopefully I didn't give you too much science there. That's what I love, and I don't want to bore anybody, but um, I truly love this product. All right, so the next thing that comes um, in there that's going to help, and this is why, is Terrazyme. So it's gonna support your digestion and your metabolism. So basically what it is, is these are digestive enzymes, okay? This is something my husband deals with in his practice all day long. He'll um, prescribe digestive enzymes quite frequently because it's gonna help break down food. It's gonna help your body absorb food better. So if you're having pain in your digestive system, this is a really great thing to try. Um, so you're gonna take, I'll let you guys kind of screenshot that. It tells you how to use it, but you'll get that on the bottle when you, when you get it. But anyway, super great. 
Next is lemon. So like I told you, I use lemon in my water every time I fill up my water bottle. Um, I have a stainless steel bottle. You always want to use stainless steel or you can put it in a glass, but just don't use plastic um, because it breaks down the one of the great things, the way it cleanses our body is it helps to break down petrochemicals and flush those out. And what is plastic? It's a petrochemical, right? That's how it's made. So when you put lemon in a plastic water bottle, one of those disposable water bottles, that is going to break down the plastic and then you're drinking those toxins. You don't want to do that. So glass or stainless steel. And so I put one drop to about every eight ounces that I'm drinking, and I just do that. It helps to flavor your water, which is going to help you to drink more because you like the flavor better. Um, and if you hate lemon, you could use a different citrus oil too. You can get grapefruit and lime and tangerine, and uh, there's all kinds of different oils. But this is the one that comes in that cleanse and restore kit. If you don't like to, to taste it, you can also use it um, to clean with. I love it on my mop. Um, when I mop my floor, I just use water microfiber mop and like five or six drops of lemon. Everything smells amazing and it pulls up all the greasy spots on my floor. So I love this for so many things, but I'm gonna try not to get distracted because I know we're talking digestion. Um, so it's gonna help our liver and our kidneys to do their job better, okay? Next we have this endocrine detoxification complex. So this supports our organs in cleansing. Um, so this is actually whole food extracts and it's gonna complement the endocrine detoxification blend, which is essential oils, not the plant. Um, material. This is more like the herbs. And then on this one, we actually have the oils. So two different parts of the plant, okay, but they're going to help each other do the job. So this is actually the essential oil, and it's in a soft gel. So you can just swallow that. Um, okay, so now we're to the GX Assist. So this is something that's going to help cleanse your intestinal tract. And then you're going to, so it's going to get rid of all the, all the gunk. Just clean it out really, really good. But it's a gentle cleanse. You're not going to be by your bathroom all day long, okay? And that is why it also says one to three soft gels a day with meals. You can kind of tailor that. So start with, you know, maybe start with two. If you feel like that is putting you in the bathroom a little more than you want to be, drop it down to one. So you can kind of make this a very gentle thing. But after you cleanse everything out, then you're going to go back and support it with repopulating your gut with the good bacteria. It's, it may seem gross, but our gut needs good bacteria in order to be healthy and to do its job and to be, have a good immune system. Okay, So this is our probiotic. This is a very unique probiotic on the market. You'll find that a lot of probiotics have to be refrigerated um, because otherwise the bacteria will die. And then the other thing that you'll find is a lot of times <laughs> with most probiotics, the bacteria are already dead. They're just, they're not alive, so they're not going to do what they need to do. And other, um, other ones don't even get past the stomach because of the acidity in the stomach, okay? So the uniqueness of this product is that it's the, it has your, it's double encapsulated. So it gets past the stomach, okay? So it's got that double encapsulation so it can get to the gut where it needs to be. But it also has a prebiotic fiber. So all that is is the food for the bacteria. So it's not going to die before it gets to your gut. So you're getting live sources and you're getting it past the stomach. Okay, so those are the two important things there. DDR Prime. This is a really amazing product. So it's straight essential oils, some of, some of the most amazing essential oils that you can get. Very precious oils, including frankincense and different different very precious oils. So they're going to help with all sorts of things. So antioxidants, healthy cell development, brain health, your immune response, and just protecting your body. So you would take two of these a day. So here's the kit with it all together, okay? This is everything that you get with that kit. Um, it's $245. That's that wholesale price. So it's, you know, the discounted price. And, and it also, just like those uh, that other kit I talked about, includes um, or waves the wholesale price, the membership fee. So you don't pay the 35 if you get this kit. It's, it's the membership comes free with the kit, okay, for a year. Um, and it's a savings of $81 when you purchase with the kit versus buying these things separately. All right, next, I want to add this in outside of that kit for digestion. And we talked about some of the reasons why I love it already. Digest then essential oil is a blend. I love it. It's amazing. You can screenshot this if you'd like. Um, Lots of different ways to use it. So anything as far as gas, bloating, nausea, being over full at Thanksgiving, uh, constipation, diarrhea, cramping, um, heartburn. And the way you use it, you're just going to go ahead and you know take a drop internally is my favorite way. And then on top of that, I'll rub a drop wherever it is. So if it's upper GI, nausea, heartburn, anything up here, you just rub, rub a drop here. And if it is um, lower GI, any kind of constipation, cramping, gas, any of that kind of stuff, 
just rub it on your belly, okay? Just one drop. And what an amazing thing. I wish I'd had oils when my kids were little. My youngest is 14, like I said, so I didn't have this when they were babies. But, you know, when, when babies are colicky, it's because their digestive systems are not developed and they're in pain. This is something you can use with an infant. Now, you use very little. You make a roller bottle and put, like, one, maybe two drops in a roller bottle and the rest of it fractionated coconut oil, okay? And you rub that on the bottoms of their feet. And so super, super great tool for cranky babies because of their digestive pain. All right, so simple next steps. Um, number one, just like we talked about with the food being the base, choose organic whole foods as much as possible where you can. Costco is great. They have all kinds of organic options. Most of their produce is now organic and it's the cheapest produce you can find, right? So choose organic when you can. Um, it doesn't have to affect your budget, okay? Do it where you can though. And then second, have these powerful essential oils at your fingertips and put them where you'll use them, you guys. Don't leave them in a box somewhere in a closet. I have my lemon oil on the sink, next to the sink where I fill up my water. I have the oils I use when I'm getting ready in the morning in my bathroom on the counter where I can see them. I have my supplements in the bathroom on the counter where I can see them so I remember to take them. Um, you know, you get the idea. Put them where you'll see them. And then commit to your personal education in being the health advocate for your home. Most of the people I deal with, I do have some men, but most of them are mamas, like me, okay? They're trying to help their kids. They're trying to, they, they kind of run the health in their home, okay? So be that advocate for your family, learn what you can, and then make those changes just one by one. Every little thing is gonna make a big difference and build over time. And then surround yourself with those that have similar goals to you. So that is one of my favorite things about our doTERRA community and our team, my team, um, is it's so much fun to have all of these people that, that believe the same things and are helping each other. So have that community around you. And then I love this quote by Theodore Roosevelt, do what you can with what you have where you are, okay? Start somewhere and just do what you can. Do a little bit at a time. All right, so here's some resources. I told you I would give you some. So take a screenshot here. On the left, you'll see some books that I love, my two favorites. So the Essential Life book and where you can get that, and then the Modern Essentials book. And then in the middle, you'll see some apps. So the Modern Essentials app is great. It works kind of like the book. The book has way more material in it, but this will still be very, very helpful, especially when you're traveling and you don't want a big old heavy book with you. And then under that, and I think the app is like seven bucks. So, and then the Daily Drop app by doTERRA, that's completely free, has little two minute videos that you can learn daily. They send them to you or you can watch them whenever you want. And then on the right, you have some websites. So on doTERRA.com, you'll see doTERRA University. If you go hover over um, advocates and then under education, you'll find that there. And then aromaticscience.com is another way that you can learn. Let's connect. This is, you know, you can email me, you can go to my website. Um, however you want to get a hold of me, I'm happy to help you any way I can. And I love this quote by C.S. Lewis that says, isn't it funny how day by day, Nothing changes, but when you look back, everything is different. And that's the way this is gonna go for you guys. As you make these little changes in your life, as you swap out you know, toxic toothpaste to something that's more natural, as you start giving your body the nutrients it needs through your diet and through your supplements and just making sure you're, you're getting your body everything it needs to heal itself, all these little changes just snowball and create huge changes in our life. And Pretty soon you look back and you realize that your life's completely different than it was even a year ago. So I'm excited for that for you guys.